This is going to be one of the simplest videos we've ever made. We're going to show you how a spring starter, otherwise known as a mechanical starter, works. On our website and in our brochures we talk a lot about how simple these starters are to use. And here's the proof. What you see here is a Shawstar S60 spring starter fitted to a Detroit diesel 671 engine. It's a 7 litre, 6 cylinder engine that produced about 238 horsepower when it was new. Spring starters can crank engines up to 12 litres, about 732 cubic inches. To prime the starter, all we do is pull the reset lever and wind it up. At this point, there are two really important, important points to remember. You can't overwind the spring starter. You don't have to be Superman to wind it. Once you've wound the starter, it can hold its charge for over a year without any perceptible loss of energy. When you want to start the engine, you just release the trip lever and the engine starts. It's a noisy engine, so you're going to deploy it depends on that. And that's how simple spring starters are. They're small, light and easy to fit at the factory, in the field or on the water. Their simplicity makes them tough for all conditions. We've tested them down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. And because they cost so much less than other starter types, it's economical to have 